What's up, Panther? Welcome back to the show. Man, we got another crazy reaction for you guys today, man. So as you all know, before we get into the whole reaction, though, make sure you guys smash on that like button or make sure you smash on that dislike button. Whatever suits you guys best, of course, right? Hey, and if you haven't hit that notification bell, you might want to smash on that notification bell right now because we got some crazy things to talk about right now on this channel. So as you all know, let's talk about this wild situation coming out of Silver Lake. Mr. Criminal turned father pastor, right? So as you all know, Mr. Criminal has been laying real low, low, low to the flow, right? A lot of people said Little Quete had him shook. A lot of people said Blue Devil had him shook. A lot of people said different things, right? But the one that did hit it on the neck, on the head, was Mr. Swifty Blue. Swifty Blue said in a post, I never supported Mr. Criminal. And the ones that did support him, the joke is on you, he said, right? And then he posted a post showing Mr. Criminal saying, ask him why he snitched. Tell him I said that. Tell him to unblock me, right? So I'm like, damn, what's going on here, right? So I'm like, did he really snitch? Or is it just beef between them two individuals, right? So then I'm like, you know, scrolling through Instagram and I run into Little Quete's channel, right? Little Quete from Barrio One Ways, Norwalk. A solid ass OG in the game. Solid, solid, solid. So, as you all know, I talked to Mr. Uh, I talked to Little Quete a few months, about a month or two ago. I talked to him on the live stream and he said, F Mr. Criminal. He said, in time, it will come out why he feels the way he feels about Mr. Criminal. Now it's came out today, right? If you don't know Diablo from Banning, Eastside Banning is currently sitting, you know, in prison, right? Unfortunately, the homie got busted for a hot one. But the word on the streets, Diablo drops, drops a diss track at Mr. Criminal, and he throws subliminals in there for us to catch him. And he basically says there's documentation that Mr. Criminal gave up information and information that led to Diablo's incarceration. Now, Little Quete said that he knew about this for quite some time, but he's been keeping it a secret because when you know, things are not fully done yet. You're not allowed really to be speaking about it. And he does say that. He says the homies asked him to keep it quiet. And that makes sense why he pushed up on them. That makes sense why, you know, uh, Big Tim's left the label. That makes sense why his whole label fell apart. And I myself was messing with Mr. Criminal. And I'm like, damn, I can't believe this right now. This is a wild, wild situation coming out of Los Angeles, California. Silver Lake, to be exact. Mr. Criminal turned pastor, father, criminal. Did he snitch on Diablo from the east side of banning the Inland Empire? Well, according to what he's saying and what Lil Quet is saying and what Diablo is saying from behind the walls, there is proof that Mr. Criminal wrote that statement and now Diablo from the east side of Banning the Inland Empire is sitting in prison doing multiple life sentences and he's saying it's due to Mr. Criminal pointing the finger don't forget to like subscribe drop a comment let me know what you guys think it's another wild situation if you haven't checked out the track go check out the track from Diablo you can find it on youtube right you can find it on youtube go check it out all you gotta do is type in diablo mr criminal diss track and go listen to the audio it's gonna tell you a thousand things with that being said stay true to yourself stay true to what you believe in salute to everybody out there i'm out